Our story starts in college. Tired of the Cowboys and not happy with their first round exits in the playoffs from them boys, Jerry Jones finally opened up his wallet. He wanted to play the NIL game and his big move? Opening up a university and exploiting the NIL rulebook. <clears throat> Actually, section 37-9 states that NFL teams with majority investment in a university gets exclusive drafting rights over their athletes. Meaning Jerry Jones can stick it to Roger Goodell and the rest of the league if he takes over a college. Like a real G moving in silence, he bought out Northwestern Oklahoma State in their D2 football program. Let me introduce you to the Dallas Cowboys minor league football team, the Rangers. And on this team, Jerry likes his guys, especially his hotshot freshman quarterback, Charlie Poke, who has that Tom Brady build. Not very fast, but he's got great stamina and toughness with a cannon. And Coop, Amari Cooper Sr. Unk over here had some eligibility and he's ready to go to work. We're going to be tossing money around like nobody's business. The goal is simple to build a national championship caliber team and in turn feed the Dallas Cowboys so they can go get that Super Bowl. A little two for one rebuild. Simple, right? And it's time to see what all the buzz is about Charlie Polk and Amari Cooper. Who knows? Maybe Charlie will be manning them boys one of these days. I'll tell you who's not looking good right now, our offensive line. But Amari Cooper gets some separation blocked. Mark that down as an atrocious first drive in this school's new era of college football led by Jerry. Jones. But when you got a guy like Polk and Amari, you know it's just a matter of time before they hook up. Polk's only a freshman and already 89 overall. Dak's kind of trembling in his boots and he's going to tremble some more because Unk, Amari Cooper Sr. with the six. I'm expecting Heisman-like numbers from this connection. Could be NFL bound in just a year or two. Jerry's in one of the suites right in front of us. There aren't many of them. The stadium's not well renovated, but hey, it's Northwestern Oklahoma. What do you expect? I guarantee you though, if Jerry Jones is able to get a national championship caliber team out of Northwestern Oklahoma, he'll build them that stadium. Within the red zone here, we have a good opportunity for six. Singer is going to take us there. Tough battle in week one. The Rebels, the Rangers... Time to get these unruly foe out of here. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. Seems like a logical choice if we're a Cowboys minor league team to go with Ranger. I don't know. What do y'all think? I like teams that kind of play on words, if you know what I mean. I also, force feeding it to Amari every single time isn't the best medicine here. In fact, Jerry's ticked about that. He won't be ticked when we make him happy here, burning right past the defender. Amari, the star of the show, do a little dance and score. Defense crumbled and at the three, UNLV misses their extra point kick. Sorry, not extra point. The full-on three-pointer. They lose. How do you miss this kind of chip shot? Bro, I'm sleep, man. And to sleep, they go. They lose it 21-20. So in the debut of this new era, Jerry and his boys got the W. Hold on, hold on. We them boys. Hoping to get more guys that Jerry likes. We're in the lead for some five stars like Titus LaBelle, Doug Babcock. But the real eye is on the prize with like Eduardo Mateo here. Gem, 93 power, 84 speed. Definitely, definitely, definitely want to get a guy like Lamar here on the defensive line. Already had Lamar Jackson run through us earlier in the season. And maybe Lamar Sly could be the counter to Lamar Jackson when he plays Baltimore in about, what, five, six years after graduation here? Square enough away the first one is always a good feeling Oklahoma's next and the big 12 awaits I know it's early but Jerry might be cooking 31 to 6 against Oklahoma Charlie Polk was just walking through the park the real star of the show was on defense look at all the sacks and CJ driver driving this defense to a win three sacks for the Oklahoma native he does it yet again in week three against Rice and boy we got something special on our hands here 3 and 0 entering big 12 conference play absolute heat through seven games we only lost one by a touchdown to Iowa State, but we've been on a roll. It's about to get a bit harder. Charlie Polk having one heck of a freshman campaign. Amari Cooper Sr. doing well, but surprisingly, it's the junior, Sammy Allen, having a great season. Welcoming in a top 10 opponent here in a rainy Oklahoma night. Now Polk is working with a ranked Ranger squad, and he means business, Cooper senior just like we have seen it before slant god 2.0 now nah, that's michael thomas but amari cooper is known for his separation and he got a lot there holding cam rising in the utes back would be a massive accomplishment and into the third quarter it looks like we could drop this one what actually drop the interception what i meant dropping the score until we just dropped the interception too. But today, you know what? It didn't matter. Jerry has found his QB, man. Best part is he's gonna just get a whole lot better year in, year out. Third and nine, we need to get a first down here to end this game effectively. Where was the defense going? Amari 
Cooper Sr. to the crib. Come on now, Utah top 10 Heisman pose to out of Amari. He wants to go play for the Cowboys. That was electric to finish off a top 10 team in the nation. Down they go. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Chalk that one in the books, 28-16. Here come the Rangers. Success in year one has led us to landing Tavares Gaffney, our first five-star 97 speed. And Titus LaBelle looks like we have a way with the secondary. And now I'm starting to wonder if Jerry Jones did a whole lot more than exploit the NIL rule book. We got a Big 12 championship, 15th ranked, taking on West Virginia in year number one. At the time of going into the championship, at least we can say we have five five-stars. Amir Burgos might be the next hottest thing at quarterback. Truly impressive to see the success on the field in one season. It's time to see if them boys are not like the Cowboys and don't get first round exited. If we can win this, we will get a first round by not an exit. Wearing the throwback unis to the D2 days, we're paying homage to what this team once was just a couple years ago. Except this specific uni is straight out of 1999. So that's pretty cool, fun little fact. Fun fact aside, winning is our favorite thing. Keeping an eye on the outside, maybe Amari Cooper will make a splash play in his championship and he chooses the first quarter to get her done. Separation, speed, all that good stuff. Opened up the floodgates and exposed West Virginia as fraudulent. Wow, just out of the grasp. Managed to get a score on that last drive, but if my name ain't Poke, that will be the last points they get in this game. Singer, catch and run, cut left. No time like the present to sharpen up for the national championship run in our first season. Bro, I just can't believe the team went 11 and two. Jerry is special. Look what happens when you finally open up your wallet and do something crazy, incentivizing and luring in all the best talent to Northwestern Oklahoma has already produced a really, really good product. A look at the 2024 bracket. We got Michigan first. A chance to do something truly special here. Our first ever season in the FBS. Jerry squad could go the distance. Time to poke him up, if you know what I mean. Cooper's got me. He's got the idea. Strike number one. Michigan's down. They answer right back, tying this thing up. And rather than taking a mammoth field goal, we're going to slip that thing in to interception territory. That was bogus. We'll find a way to win when you got guys like Unk catching it over the defense. Touchdown. He's two for two. Here we go. This could be the final drive of the game if we play our cards right. Good first step there from Poke. And another strike to Makabe. Dialing up a shallow... Hello, darkness, my old friend. As if it was a miracle, our back got hurt, but it's not broken. Kind of like the idea of putting Cooper here in the slot because he can catch, rack him up, yak him up, put some moves on. And as you can see, he's just putting on a clinic today, going to the outside, inside, wherever. Why not do it once again? And now we really got to hurry up to the line. I'm going to hit him on that shallow underneath if he gets open. First down in, breaking the tackle for a touchdown. That's the lead. All Amari Cooper, that entire drive. All Jerry said was get it to the star player every single play. That's why you got one of those. Dream season continues. We're still dancing in the first year of FBS existence. Unbelievable. On to the next. Ohio State got past Oregon, so we'll meet him in the Orange Bowl. And I can't believe the run Jerry's on. It continues, but it's not going to get easier. And as you can tell, we're already getting shut out through one quarter and gave up a touchdown in return. I'm going to need Poke to hit the panic button. Start acting up, my boy. Let's go. Will Howard and Quinshot Judkins, the Buck guy, it all just felt a little unrealistic, didn't it? Looks like they're going to have the last laugh. 28 to 7, our miraculous run snuffed out by the Buckeyes. No Orange Bowl for us, 28-7. Ironically, it's kind of similar to what we see in the Cowboys. Win one, get bounced. Sometimes you get bounced in the wild card. Regardless, let's go check on them boys, see what they did in their first season. So how do we fix the Cowboys? A look at the roster. Parsons, Lamb, Prescott, D-Law, Bland. We got a lot of high-powered superstars. I say we clearly stick with Dak Prescott now, but once Poke becomes of age and draft eligible, Prescott might be on the way out. Just looking at the lineup alone, 
alone, we need receivers. So Amari Cooper Sr. would fit right in. Where art thou a running back? Zeke with the star development is a little funny to me. On defense, our safeties are getting a little older. Secondary is getting a little older besides, you know, Diggs, Carson, who we just brought in, and Bland, who will be back. But I definitely see a future here on defense where our five stars that we just got in college can go through the system. If they continue to blossom, they'll find a home here. Like in real life, Jerry likes his boys, so let's not go out and trade for anyone or do anything crazy. Let's see how your one stacks up. Five and three boys, six and two Eagles, primetime rivalry. As y'all know, Dak got paid, but word around town is all about them Oklahoma boys. They're getting excited about what they can do to this team. And you know who else is an exciting phenom to watch is C.D. Lamb, touchdown, what a beaut. All I'm saying is CeeDee Lamb and Mari Cooper would feed families. Yeah, here we go. Fumble Ruski, Eagles on top. Clearly things did not go to plan. What happened there, folks? Florney open, just gonna catch and run, midfield onto the star. But the question is, can he keep it going? to hang in there with the Eagles. The Birds got a young secondary, a couple young picks, including first round Cooper DeGene and Kenyon Mitchell. Maybe they will develop over the course of this rebuild. For now, Fergie, the offense, first and goal. Just like vintage back in the day, you know what time it is. I was trying to feed Zeke, and that's why you should never force it to that man. End of the third quarter, decked. I think we can pull away if we just have a nice sustained drive right here. Now down by two, we seriously need a big play. No one's holding up. It's actually getting rather embarrassing that we have no protection, nothing, getting hit, throwing an interception, vintage like here, huh? So that's gonna seal it. Eagles are gonna win. There's the rookie I mentioned, Kenyon Mitchell. Clearly this is telling me Dak and the Cowboys need some assistance. Bring in the Rangers. And a little bit of an improbable comeback at the end. It didn't really matter, like I said. Jerry's boys fall to five and four. He's got his eyes set on the Rangers. He's focused on college ball. Whether it surprises you or not, we still made a playoff spot, the wild card at the end of the year. And round one was a success. Squeaked past the Saints and now up by two touchdowns on the Packers. Let's find out if the divisional against our arch foe green bay the one that has just upset ruined our day many times in the playoffs before it's all tied up 28 28 31 28 will dallas do it wow what a touchdown there at the end i think green bay's got it again another one win and exit playoff here from the boys my goodness jordan love in the pack season recap dak still did pretty good 4600 yards 39 touchdowns a little high in the ends zeke did much better than what he would do in real life cd lamb and surprise here ryan flanoy Rookie, healthy Micah Parsons is like that. Five for the digster. Green Bay got to the Super Bowl and dropped it to the Bills. Unfortunately, our hands are tied in free agency. Negative cap room, can't grab any of these guys. Leading me to the best part of all of this. The NFL draft is here. We have a late first round pick and I'm seeing our scouts grade Antoine Brown pretty highly, the middle linebacker. And you know what? It is true. We need help, especially at the running back position. But this early in the draft, I might as well take a surefire thing. Looks like a top fit. Let's do it. There he is the future of dallas for now with a caveat he is from clemson just wait until the rangers out of oklahoma get ready to go got a great profile got a great draft grade i'm excited the best signee of all none other than amari cooper senior he's making his nfl declaration that's right get ready to see this ranger run wild for the cowboys in year two charlie poke got some cold feet but we got him to stay the nfl needs to watch out for this 98 deep route running 94 catching 95 agility and change of direction not to mention he can juke and break tackles 97 speed 98 excel transfer portal is unlocked and it's cracked malik hornsby give me emory jones jr one of the best portal options gaffney is hands down one of the best additions to this team 97 speed 81 overall raw he can also play strong safety corner at the same elite level so i'm gonna move him to corner because that leaves titus labelle the other freshman holding it down one heck of a season training results in we're juiced up without our top threat we're still managing we got three non-conference wins a big one there against boise tcu and texas tech down the hatch west virginia got us but i still think we have a good look look here at the rest of the big 12 as jerry jones continues to infuse cash charlie poke continues to play better very very good stuff here emil singer 95 overall insane yards per carry this actually might be 
the future for Dallas Cowboy at running back. Nine and three is a really good season here on paper, but not quite to the caliber of Kansas State and West Virginia. The team did have one heck of an offense. Defense was top three as well. So rather unfortunate, I guess some of the outcomes didn't go our way. Charlie out here putting up Heisman numbers with less than 3,000 passing yards. Our big boy is up to 94 overall. Emil Singer continued to dominate 1,297 yards and six touchdowns. And cool, looks like the best receiver to step up was Terrence Weeks, 14 touchdown snags. This is the definition of a deep threat here. Greenwell had 10 touchdowns on 27 catches, meaning almost half, closer to a third of his catches were touchdowns. No Heisman winners, that belongs to Austin Mack. Instead, we'll take charge fittingly in the Texas Bowl. Put her there, Cowboy. Let's see some of the next Dallas Cowboy grades in action. Bring him out, bring him out. It's only fitting that the first play of the game goes to Singer because we could be seeing him at the next level. A yo, a fumble to kick off this game. He was so, so good. One of the running backs of the year until that was an uncharacteristic mistake. Without a surefire target in Amari Cooper, we have to spread the love and find someone that can step up. It's not always pretty. Sometimes it's sloppy, difficult. And gosh, we got burnt right here too. 6-0 is not bad considering how much we're getting worked out here. Second and 10, he's so open, just take it. Blankenship all over that one, scrambling out to our right. Hello, anyone. I wanna showcase Singer a whole lot more, so let's go ahead and dump it his way. He's got it and he's still hanging in there. Textbook concentration, what a play. Now we need a play here, first and goal. Let Hooks Cooks at the one, touchdown in. Poke, don't choke, fourth and 10 aggressive style of football not gonna pay off one chance one opportunity this is everything you wanted would you capture it or let it slip two minutes to spare in this one bingo greenwell is becoming our favorite he's 95 overall in nfl bound for a reason so let's feed it to him hit the outside big man got us halfway there solved half of the problem now i'm gonna audible him on a texas route see how he can do out of the backfield he's so just wide open touchdown we got the lead again hold on hold on we them boys all of our timeouts left i don't know how much is that's gonna help us it will because he missed that was crazy i thought we we're about to lose instead we got life and seven seconds what's it gonna be blankenship two one out of bounds didn't matter overtime just looking for some textbook plays honestly nothing fancy just a lot of teamwork and a desire to win comes down to this third and five what's it gonna be that quick dump out was so open handoff on the ground is 25 he's out of there we're feeling so dangerous that if we score we're gonna go for two i should say when we score not if good start there by singer i think we have a man open he was so open he's still kind of open and he ran out of bounds that's the type of play you go beating yourself up over i'm not gonna lie that last wide open blunder is something you'll beat yourself up over because now look it's fourth down the pressure's on dump out stay in bounds yo melodramatic anticlimactic booty doo-doo that's how i describe that ending back to back successful season skyrockets this prestige to four and a half we're like up there with georgia now and we say so long to a host of key players emil singer star running back from the season blunder there in the bowl game but that's not gonna hurt his stock he's gonna get picked up pretty Hi from them boys protected pick don't need to waste any picks technically for any of these guys like i said jerry jones found a way we get all the feeder school players and now we're even extra loaded at pretty much every position a linebacker right end give us javorius lumpkin top tier corner offensive line protection all of this comes at a time of need and i think it's enough to take the cowboys over the edge where some go more will step in look at these transfer portal options relatively successful here on the rangers front let's go check on dallas year two Two crew in Big D, man. It's looking actually really good. Ferguson up to a superstar. Offensive line is actually solid. A couple draft picks here. Hidden devs. We got some depth. Only question mark and we may go out and trade for it is the running back position. Deuce Vaughn, as much as I love my cats, cannot be a lead workhorse in itself. We did draft Tyrone Simpson from Tennessee, but nah, man, that's going to need some work. What is suddenly plugged up, and I know you see it, Amari Cooper Sr. He was 13 in college, number three in the NFL. Unk's getting up there in age but he's got the speed and the intangibles he's bringing right over from his collegiate game y'all saw on defense we need more depth across the defensive line even though they're all stars brown our first round pick out of clemson looks like a home run pick all in all i'm impressed and usually more often than not the case in dallas it's not that they don't have the talent the stars the pieces it's just the coaching and everything that's going to put it together to get them to that next level the cowboys are off to a 2-0 hot start two wins on the road taking it home for our home opener 
of this 2025 season. Looks like the Falcons are over the Kirk Cousins experiment here. Technically would have had a year left in the contract, but it's Michael Penix Jr. time, and he's going to step up and scramble. He's got some legs. He's running through a guy. Well, the bad news, Falcons are coming alive, and they're going to work. But the good news is Amari Cooper Sr. is in action. Let's go see what it's all about out here with just a couple minutes to go. I like that snag. Very good work there. He's going to get open again. C.D. Lamb was also open. Amari Cooper and C.D. Lamb putting in work. Straight from the Rangers now to the NFL. Count it for six. Touchdown. He was a huge factor in this drive. Let's go, baby. Coop is back in town. Not the one playing for Cleveland, but the senior. Toe drag. Textbook. We're going to need to keep the pedal to the metal. And Deuce Vaughn is going to do just that. Touchdown up the middle. Walking the dog. Scratch him, cats. All right. Back within five. Out to Tolbert. Carry us further, young man. Yeah, Dak. Here we go. Up and over to Fergie. You know what? Forget it. Maybe CeeDee Lamb is in the vicinity. Oh, okay. That was just corn dogish of me. Well, the good news, one more chance here to make things right. Up and over. Can't ever forget about 88. If the defense forgets about 88, this is what happens. He will cook you. Under a minute to go, Cooper breaks free of the coverage, puts on a spin, first and goal. And I am one big fan of Coop out here. Super Saiyan touchdown for the lead. Getting a good feel of our rookie middle linebacker here. I'm looking for the defense to make a play. Fourth down, Atlanta converts. But they couldn't get to field goal range in time. So Dak and the Cowboys 3-0, knocking out the 2-0 Falcons. If you thought that performance was good, wait till you see how he did in his rookie season. 892 yards, 8 touchdowns. Really good complimentary football there out of a rookie. CeeDee Lamb and Tolbert also got to work. We take these type of numbers any day from Dak Prescott. Funny to see how things come full circle with Carson Wentz, our backup. The stars were aligning. We're the number one seed. I showed you offensive stats, but a healthy defense will do do that to you. They're the reason why we are here. They're the reason, frankly, why we're a one seed. Crazy to see it come full circle in the first round of the playoffs. It's all going to go through Dallas. We're taking on the team we beat earlier in the vid. I knew Atlanta was a good team. 10 and 7. They found a way in the playoffs. Let's see if the Sim is rooting for Dallas or Atlanta. Off to a good start here. 21 to 3. Dak and Cooper, CD Lamb, everyone's eating today my goodness as long as we don't collapse like a tom brady atlanta situation we'll be just fine one step closer to the super bowl man something is up with green bay and dallas they once again block the road to the super bowl and they're killing us 21-0 going into the second half we finally get a touchdown maybe the tides are turning but it's too late green bay kills us another first round victory then exit this is the epitome of the Dallas Cowboys, folks. It's going to take this next batch of college guys to get them right. Back on the Rangers, I told y'all we had some secondary reinforcements coming. Gaffney, second year leap, elite dev up to 86. And LaBelle doing a great job at safety. All in all, another really rock solid team. I'm expecting great things here in year three. The critics are also high on our team. Poke and Hooks, first team preseason All-Americans. And Terrence Week making the second team list. From Division Two to Jerry Jones infusion of NIL dollars we are rumbling and maybe this is the year we get back to the playoffs that's what we're craving houston we have a problem four and four that is not what i expected to see so we're gonna jump in and see what the issue might be at bill snyder family stadium this place is hostile oh my goodness it's been a letdown of a season and the defense has more holes than ever costly mistake there on offense gives it up to the defense and they couldn't come through blankenship tried right in the wrong here dumping it to our running back it's hooks to the in zone rangers let's ride if you're gonna win in manhattan you gotta be ready to come and take it and poke just knows what the doctor ordered just about to score our all-american quarterback finds the hole hits weeks first team to second team all-american out here on defense labelle our refreshed secondary needs to step into it and i don't want to jinx anything but this game's getting closer and closer to a potential upset i'm salty i missed the receiver on the last one and we didn't have a chance on this one fourth quarter fourth down in the all-american running back we trust up the gut and he is out of here breaking some tackles i don't think he realizes just how big that was we we can get some insurance points that will go a long way and we'll settle for those three insurance points up by two possession fourth and six get a clamp job here fellas hold him hold him and take him 
down fists up so the only thing this game has done is confuse things for me are we bad are we good we sure did good against the k-state wildcats insurance points hooks to the outside in there yes sir 24 to 7 looks like we got the job done today shout out to my cats but it was all rangers in this in recap it went wrong against rice ucf oklahoma state utah took it to us but then after beating kansas state we went on a nice little ride that leads to a championship game here against ucf in the big game here what is it gonna be who's gonna rise to the occasion it's all knotted up we take the lead at half they score right back wow action packed northwestern oklahoma state taking it to the golden knights so now i'm going to be curious how the committee votes us in because i think i saw charlotte and they had a better record but the big 12 championship winner gets a bid regardless i believe shoot i guess i got my theory debunked i didn't realize there was a scenario where the big 12 championship winner doesn't get into the playoffs at least on the bright side ethan hooks was the best running back in the nation nowhere near my ashton genty level but we'll take it we got the Rutgers, and we got three straight years finishing out with the bowl or better top 25 nfl draftees you know what i gotta tip my cap to jerry he did a great job if nothing else pumping a lot of dollars into the program bringing them to life well as tennessee takes the national you can see where this is going our team continues to build gets better sending more people to the nfl and to be frank if the cowboys can't do it with charlie poke ethan hooks terrence weeks julian johnson harris and everyone else that's gone before him i don't think they're quite worthy of a super bowl jerry jones didn't put hundreds of millions and millions and millions into this program for fruitless efforts the squad of destiny this is the year we loaded up in all the areas we were weak emil singer finally out of college looking like a mccaffrey-esque prospect help is on the way big boy aaron beach are up in there javoris lumpkin a rangers ball hawk now in the bigs and of course all these studs joining the most impactful one of all amari cooper senior he is regressing a little bit because well his age right he's getting up there leads me to believe the window is now on the road against Jaden daniels and the washington commanders that's going to be a great first test nfc east foe hey yo we swept the commanders in our 7 and 0 through the young season 202 points 439 against all around good stuff like i said it didn't take much for this team to get over the edge just a push there singer looking good cooper senior more in the tank i believe but yeah i can't complain well we made the playoffs but it's kind of alarming that we lost five along the way to get there all within one possession except for the giants game who knows maybe we'll be all right we're the three seed taking on our arch rival the eagles this is what Jerry's been working towards for years when he set up the college fund. Roger Goodell and other teams around the league say it's unfair, but hey, nothing's stopping them right now from doing it themselves. Lambdac, a connection as old as time. On third and one, we're going to run a quick play action here. Amari Cooper, seniors open, and he's going to take it and run. Damn boys getting hot right now, and Ferguson's a hot tight end. I'm going to see if we can keep it down here to Cooper, senior, get him involved. But as we go back and forth, we can tell this game's going to be blow for blow. Dak says, here we go, and that is an insane ball to an insane receiver 21 had no chance if we can just hold on to the ball for the last couple minutes of the game we could wrap this one up so far cowboys getting the slight edge here head to head advantage and it brings a tear to my eye to see one of our riders ending this game using his prowess ranger nation cowboy nation let's ride we can all rally behind this eagles fresh out of timeouts nothing they could do to stop the run dak's gonna take the final kneel down it's official sign sealed delivered the next round we head to san francisco we've also had our fair share of problems with this team just like we have against the packers I like to start we're out to 14 10 seems like the boys are clicking before half though the Niners resecure the lead can't get in Cowboys get in oh my goodness one play at a time here we're up by eight Niners driving and they don't get it was that an interception but we give it back I guess we punt wow and they don't get the two-point conversion that's crazy divisional round Cowboys get it not a one and done finally speak of the enemy it's the Packers and I'm sick and tired of the whooping they've given us year in year out so goodness gracious the Cowboys are enraged we're coming out swinging Packers 35 20 wow this is a high scoring affair 
going down the field defense for the pack cannot stop us looks like we're gonna have a date here with the super bowl what a game what a performance let's go to the big dance finally past this arch nemesis they have been the thorn and it's finally good to remove it quick little five touchdown piece from dak singer our guy with 85 ergie with two touchdowns cd did what cd does mari cooper senior big time yearly awards are in dak third on the mvp and i don't know if you saw that right flanor was fourth in mvp votes 14 15 100 yards 15 touchdowns insane where did this dude come from as you can see on the right side of our screen it looks like emil singer was named offensive rookie of the year so big shout out to our ranger and well this is what it's all about it's come down to the super bowl Bengals Cowboys that would be entertaining to see Jerry your NIL finagling really paid off man we got the team the extra ammunition to go the extra mile and now the greatest show the Super Bowl and our journey begins here against Burrow and the Bengals trying to hold them back from that end zone cover six exploited they're in business. I think it's time we finally wake them boys up. What do you say? Down 14-0, about to go into halftime. Unacceptable. Hurrying up back to the line. That took some time off the clock. Slip screen here to Emil Singer. Gets us into a great position. He's still rumbling. What a stiff arm. The big boy's chasing him. He's not going to get him. Oh, my goodness. Rough and tough, my Ranger friend. This was crazy. Just a play design to get us some extra yards closer to field goal range. Turned into six. And I think that sparked something in Dak. Third quarter, he is going for the kill. Touchdown. C. D. Lamb. Let's tie this Super Bowl up, folks. Burrow's got him first in goal. We're going to plug that thing and boom. Just rocked to Zach Moss's world, man. Not a shot there and not a shot getting past Kalen Carson, the rookie from real life, making a play here. That was huge getting us into the fourth quarter a takeaway that tells me this is our game to lose bro made a blunder let's not do the same deck we'll start back with what worked before half dump off to emil singer see if he gets some blocks make a move breaking tackles and now the mission is simple just field goal range can we manage locking in here underneath we're gonna hit him it's flanoy the superstar i just love seeing stories like flanoy i mean he was under the radar stacked deep in the depth chart and then he becomes a superstar. Just like Ferguson, X-Factor, jittering all on the ground, doing his... <laughs> what the heck? Someone go check that man. Is he good? Was just humping the ground or something. Is that Flanoy? Oh, we missed him. Again, I can keep looking Flanor's way. This is a huge third and five. We actually really need this, which is why I go to our security blanket. Ferguson secured it. We're in chew clock, burn timeout territory. What a play. That could seal it. Credit to the defense, but really credit to Singer for actually being the spark plug this offense needed it truly is a feather in the cap in this epic story so so fitting for our college team to produce a product that is credited with a big win and he's holding up the ball he could have scored but we're going to clock strategically this could be it the final kick are the Dallas Cowboys going to win the Super Bowl with ease yes at long last Dallas on top of the world. So many factors here. So many stars. So many people to credit. Flanoy stepped up. Man, like I said, like you witnessed, our guy Singer right there, Spark plug i hope you enjoyed this video this kind of dual rebuild collab thing between college and the nfl mixing it up a bit adding a little storyline to it having some fun with some crazy nil situations i enjoyed the twist but let me know what you think and if you want to see something crazy wacky different just let me know in the comment section i enjoy bringing all these fun team builder-esque college football 25 videos and then mixing it in here and there with some NFL. Obviously, you know me, you know the sponge. We're soaking it up with college football day in, day out. That is our primary focus. But as always, like I said, keep me posted if you think of something fun you want to see. Soak it up with your boy King Sponge, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch y'all in the next banger.